I have to say, I've not ended up at A and E though in a drink-related incident. Of course, incident you haven't. At this point, no. unlike some yeah. chappy. Yeah, <laughs> I haven't. Have oh, have you? you not? Oh no, I haven't. Um, I haven't ever needed medical attention through drinking. Not on the, not, not when I'm on the telly. For heaven's sake. Uh, oh, yeah. um, no, I haven't. But I am a uh, drinker. And I, not so much now, but when I was younger, I used to go out and you see people. And, and now that I'm older, all I want is for people to be safe. Yeah. And I have to say, I know you disagree with me, which is a shame. <laughs> but we, we're Britain. Have you been to America? By American standards, our drinking habits, we're all alcoholics. Yeah. And we live in a culture where on a Monday morning, if your work colleague goes, what do you do over the weekend? If you say, well, I went to a couple of yoga classes and mm. I spent... Sunday meditating and eating vegan food, everyone would give you a wide berth. They think you're off your trolley, right? But if you go in and say, oh, I got off my face on Saturday night, I can't remember what I did, and Sunday I spent all day in bed and had to go to a &E to get my... Everyone go, oh, well, you had a great night then. If you can't remember it, you had a great night. As long as that is our culture... Yeah. then we should look after then people. That's there is praise there in is... this culture. New Year's Eve does add to it, because it's a very long evening. People will go out, often have a drink before they do go out. You've got to stay up till midnight. You can't call it a night at ten. And then, of course, the partying continues. Yeah. So we don't want people, do we, Hillary, to feel they can't go to A&E because yes, they might do. be charged? No, do we, we absolutely do. We okay. absolutely do. Th this has become a, a national outrage. Uh, the NHS was never intended uh, to be wiping people's bottoms when they've had too much to drink and lost individual responsibility. They, they, they abuse the paramedics, uh, they bash up the nurses, mm. they take up more time in uh, casualty departments than any other group of people. Um, they are totally responsible for their own demise. And, yes, we have a drinking culture in this country, but not everybody ends up mm. in, acutely intoxicated and needing the help of ambulances, paramedics, nurses and doctors, who the rest of society treat like skivvies and drudges, picking up... The, you know, they come in, they, they're sick everywhere, we pick up the pieces. Why on earth is the NHS paying for this when that money could be taken from those people who've abused the service and the people who, who work in it, and that money could go into rehabilitation for addiction centres or for cancer treatments for children but are much better things. If people so, aren't there a lot of, sorry, I was just saying, aren't there a lot of instances, though, where people sort of do something to excess that means that they may end up, you know, whether it's drugs or the food they eat, sure. their diet, sure. their lifestyle, that's intoxic... all a personal choice, isn't it? Yeah, but it? In acute intoxication is quite unique. This is a situation where, at one acute period of time, they're at risk to themselves or to other people. They're at risk of inhaling their own vomit and dying. They're at risk of, be of being violent, causing damage to other people, abusing the nurses or the doctors. It's, an it's a totally different situation to anything else. Mm. And unless we start charging a proper amount to pick up the pieces, then the NHS is just being completely abused. Can I just say, I am 100% on your side regarding abuse towards staff and violence. Those people should be charged. They should, I don't care how drunk they are. If they assault, uh, they should, the law should step in. Don't get me wrong, I don't think that's at all acceptable. However, my question to you would, it would be, where do you draw the line, then? How do you differentiate between someone who's just got drunk on New Year's Eve and someone who is an addict? Well, if you get drunk at any time of the year, New Year's Eve or any other time, and you haven't got the individual control over yourself to, to not spend NHS money looking after you. I'm not saying don't treat those patients, I'm saying treat them, but charge them. Because it, it is something that you're... Well, where you do should you draw the line? Well, you draw the line in terms of alcohol level. Um, and, you know, whether you've, char whether you've had to call the ambulance out, paramedics' time, nurses' time, secretarial staff, note-taking, legal, bureaucracy. It doesn't cost 120 quid to look after these people. It's more like two and a half grand okay, a pop. I understand So this that. is a lot of money. So, so just... just, um, just... Let's have a look at other things that people do sure. where they put themselves sure. themselves at risk. Sure. Smoking, yeah. eating too many cakes, yeah. mountain climbing, yeah. jumping out of aeroplanes. Yeah. These are all things that we go into knowing that there's a risk. Mm. So I just want to know where do we... Because we're moralising about people's lifestyle and we're charging them accordingly. 
And so if you start to say, no, 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 you're worthy, you have to pay, mm. I don't know how well, you would... I think there's a difference between somebody who is in a, in a health-related pursuit, like playing sport, who gets accidentally injured. I think there's a big difference between Why is there that. a difference? Why? Because they're doing something that we're generally is going, to, is going to benefit more people than it's going to harm. And also, they're, they're not abusing the service. I don't think mm. they're abusing the service there. If someone plays football, plays rugby, falls off a horse... What about somebody who knows overweight. they're overweight, who... Is getting well, they're not more going to come in, in acute and intoxication. It's... OK, that's no, a long-term condition. No, but the doctor might condition. say to them, you need to lose weight or you're going to get these kind of illnesses that we... Isn't that right? People. That's right, isn't it? Yes, but if they've already been warned and still doing it, do we start charging them? No, I don't think you can do that. But you can treat their addiction. You can treat alcohol addiction. We're not mm. talking about addiction. We need no. re more rehab centres. We need more addiction help. And we need more he men mental health services. This and the money that we recover from people far. who completely abuse... Regularly, by the way. This is not just a one OK, so would it, be the, would it be the repeat it offender the you'd be concerned about, rather than the... 18-year-old yeah. that yeah, that's has one too way much of doing to Because there's an interesting yeah. split of um, comments, actually, that are mm. coming in online, and some people are saying that. Paul, for example, anyone who ends up in any drunk more than once should be taxed for their irresponsible and stupid behaviour. Other people, though, are saying, like uh, Chile on Twitter, the tax paid on alcohol pays in turn for the NHS. If you charge drunks, surely you should charge smokers, the obese and time wasters as well. So those people are saying that, actually, no, you know, the I, I tax don't... that's paid on alcohol no, is No, it doesn't even cover a proportion of it. People have no idea how much it costs, because people think, you know, you go into a drunk tank, you sleep it off, you go home. It doesn't cost anything. Ambulance, £280. Paramedics uh, time, nurses triage time, mm. doctors time, secretarial, legal, bureaucratic. It's a lot Plus of money. Plus you're slowing it down for others who do... Oh, need you're making it's, it's really a, bad, don't get me wrong. It's awful in casualty. It is you, really you, bad. You and I have doctor friends. You went to with your children. Uh, listen, I... You'd I hate it. It's, no, I've been, I've seen, I went one New Year's Eve um, and it's carnage. Mm. And it's awful and I have friends who are doctors and you think, how horrid that you have to go through this. It's weird. Really, please don't get me wrong, I don't think it's OK. Mm. However, I do feel that at the point of need, we should... We should look after people. Yeah, treat them. But I don't think it's practical to then shift through and say who should pay and who shouldn't. Where's your deterrent, um, then? I mean, it, A, it helps the health service in recovering the money, and, two, it's a wonderful deterrent, because if they did it once and they were charged a reasonable sum of money, they would they be less well, likely yeah. to do it again. Can I just say hats off to anybody who is working in A&E tonight, because oh, no right. doubt you're going to have Quite a busy right. night and a lot Quite to contend right. with.